Hi, this is Christy at the West Regional Branch of the Mobile Public Library. And today we are going to get you started on some spring hand lettering projects. Let's get started. So we are going to write Smile It's Spring. We're going to start out with our food and suitcase pen and I am using today the soft tip. So you notice we've got a half sheet. We want to line everything up in the middle. So start over here and we're going to do just a nice fluid script. And remember with your food and suke pens, you are going to have the thick and thin, but this is going to look thinner than when you use other pens because they're smaller. So just keep that nice fluid motion. You can bounce if you like, it's up to you. You can add a little flourish to your L. And there we are. Put our little comma in. Okay, and then we're going to do it. This is just a nice, easy, quick little project that you can do for spring. And if you don't like the black, if you think that's too harsh, you can use any other color you like. Just helps to stand out. You'll see why in just a minute. We're going to swap and we are going to choose some of our bright colored super tip markers. We are going to go for a really strong look here. We want a lot of saturated color because we're going to go over this with black in a minute. Now you can add the serifs, you can leave them off. I did not have the colors I wanted for this project in the broad tip, but if you do, that might be a good alternative because you get those good, strong, saturated strokes when you use a broad tip to do the downward strokes. So whatever you like, and as always, remember to just make it your own, whatever font you want, whatever colors you want, whatever colors say spring to you. I wanted mine to just kind of look like a pastel rainbow. Okay, we are getting there. Notice I cheated and made that guy thin even though I was going down. That's all right. I'm sure you won't wrap me out. And we're going to end in a lovely lilac color. And then we're going to go back to our food and the suitcase, and we are going to stretch the word spring right across this one. So keep it as small or as large as you like. Probably, truthfully, the smaller the better. String those out so that each letter falls on top of the one that's already there. All right. I want it to look like it's sort of made out of string. And again, if the black seems too harsh, you can play with different colors. I tried it several ways, and it just seemed to stand out the best whenever I used the black on top of the colors. So that was what I found worked. And if you're like me, and you love springtime, then that's a good reason to smile. All right, so that's our first simple little project. Let's take a stab at the next one. For this project, we're just going to write Hello Spring. Now we're going to bounce the font, and you know my disclaimer as always. Choose the colors that you like. I liked this really pretty light purple, probably in the lilac family. So remember when you're bouncing, drop that down below the imaginary baseline, okay? And then we're going to drop these L's. Okay. 
And I'm going to give this, oh, just a tiny flourish as we go. Wraps it around. All right, so there's Hello. And then I've chosen this really light blue, kind of a robin's egg blue for spring. And I'm going to do, sort of cheat and do a hybrid. I'm going to do an S like we did on the last one. And start as though we're going to do print and then go into cursive. And we're not really going to bounce this one. Just going to keep it on the same plane. And you can do pinks or whatever other colors you like. I steer clear of yellow because unless you get sort of that orangey yellow, they don't tend to show up well. So, all right, you could leave it there. Or if you want to add a little embellishment, this is a lot like what we did back at Thanksgiving when we made the little wheat stalk type things. You can add in just a little vine. You can add in some kind of little flowers, just something to give it another little bit of color and to make it feel like all the pretty things that bloom in springtime. And you can make it balance by adding one here or you can leave it. So there's just a really quick, happy Hello Spring. Thanks for watching and have a great day.